So we're going to use the NLA editor or the action editor, however you want to call it, and combine two different animations to make the one animation better, I guess. So at the moment, this is the one animation that I have. So if I go play, you can see that the mouth is actually pretty janky. It's not very smooth. That's not exactly what I want. So this character is from Character Creator 3 and I convert it into iClone and I use the facial motion capture, but I needed it a little bit tidier. So I've actually gone back and I use the Oculips, I think, to make that mouth look a lot better. So this is the current animation that I've been working on and this is the imported animation. So we can see that if I were to press play here, we can see that the mouth is a lot clearer. It's a lot smoother. So that's the animation I want to grab. Now, something important to know is that the bones and the shape keys need to be the exact same. You can't have two different um, bone structures because uh, use, or I'm sorry, naming convention, or it just won't work because obviously there's no relationship. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the animation tab Let's come up here into the NLA editor somewhere. Where is it? There it is. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to push down all these animations. There we go. So we're just kind of setting them as an action. There we go. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the armature and we can see that if I click here, we can see that the armature is highlighted, which is exactly what we want. We're going to come here and down here where the dope sheet is and change it to the action editor. Um, from here, let's find our armature. I think it's this one here. Temp motion 001, temp motion 001. Let's just make sure. There we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this. So when I bring it in, we don't have this kind of super long name. So this is going to be face two very clear, distinct. Um, I can now delete this one here. There we go. Now, the one thing is, is I only care about the one bone. Now this is going to be very important. And we'll talk about this later on in the video. I just want the bone that controls the mouth. So the moving of up and down of the mouth, everything else I don't care about. So I'm actually going to just select that one bone. And I believe it's this one here, root jaw. Yeah, so it's that one there. With that bone selected, I'm gonna press Control I to invert my selection. I have to go into edit mode. Go into edit mode. Make sure everything's inverted. Let's now delete all those other bones. and We just have that one bone. Now, the next thing I wanna do is make sure I grab the shape key. Since we're using an LA editor, we'll look at both the actions and the shape keys. So let's select our face because our face has all the shape keys. Um, we're going to go into from action editor to shape key editor. There we go. And we should only have, uh, <laughs> we're just going to look at the top one here. So key 007. So let's find it key 007. And we will call this uh, S K for shape key underscore face two. There we go. And now let's go ahead and save this file. So this file will be called whatever, um, anim two. Okay. So we've now got our secondary file. Well, yeah, let's go into our primary file that we want to replace from here. I need to go file. I want to append. I want to bring that animation across. I don't want to just link it and store everything over there. I actually want to bring all that animation data. Let's come over into anim2, which is our blend file. From here, we're going to go into actions and we can see that we've got face two, which is our armature. And then we've got SK face two, which is our shape key. So let's go append from here. Let's work on the shape key first. I'm going to select the face. And from here, what I'm going to do is just come up into the action delete with the track selected. I'm going to go shift a and we will add in our FK two. So now we've got our correct um, shape key animation, but we need the bone animation. 
Now, this is the situation is we only have the jaw root. I want to keep all the other animations. So we're going to come down and let's select our animation or sorry, our armature. We can see that it's this one up here. From here, I need to add in kind of like an extra layer. So we're going to have two actions playing at the same time. So if we come up into the three little lines, add, add action strip, and we're going to go face two. So now we have put the that clean no, the mouth, which is exactly what we're going for. Now this is the important bit. There is only one bone in face two. Okay. And that is the jawbone. The, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the jawbone in this animation, it's got every bone as well as the jawbone. So what we have here in phase two is just that jawbone is overriding everything in the animation below. So for instance, if I kept, um, upper arm, it would have kept the jaw two, or sorry, the root jaw, and also the upper arm, and they would have been controlled by the previous animation. So that's just a really simple way on how we can grab animations from other characters that have the same armature names, bone names, and apply it to another character. Capiche? Frank, you happy? He's happy. Are you happy? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't. So I might mention as well that we've got some new content coming up a little bit off to the side, um, but hopefully it'll be fresh and hopefully might even bring some new people to the channel. I'm trying to hit that 100,000 mark. Will I get it? I don't know. I hope so. Please one day to hit it. Um, so I've been testing a lot with fire simulation, water simulation, which you've seen and a little bit of particle effects as well. So there's plenty of that jazz coming up. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. What else? There is a parody video and that's what this is for another YouTuber called Integza, who does a lot of 3D printing and rockets. And I really like his personality. That's why I'm going to tease him. <laughs> um, but if there's other YouTube channels that you want me to maybe do parodies of, leave a comment below as well. Um, I think I might try and do Mr. Beast. I might try and do Action Labs. Who else is there? Oh, I can't remember their names. But if there's someone that you want me to target, I'm not... It, 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 it's all in good fun. I'm not... Let me know, leave a comment below.